Nicole Scott here from Mobile Geeks, and here we have two handsets, the Nokia 720 and the Nokia 820. Now taking a look at these two handsets, they're both 4.3 inches in display, but they are clearly slightly different sizes. Now the 720 is meant to have about a 5 inch height difference here, and here we have 4.8. So they are slightly different in, in size, and if we take a look at the height, they are very comparable. Both of these handsets have the same PPI, or the pixel density, at 217, but the 720 actually comes with an IPS LCD display, and the 820 comes with a AMOLED display. Now I think the main reason that the 720 is slightly longer than the 820 is that they've actually crammed in a 2000 mAh battery, whereas the 820 only has a 1650 mAh battery, so that actually really changes the talk time from say 13.5 hours from the 720 down to 8 hours for the 820. Now under the hood of these two smartphones we have Qualcomm Snapdragon S4 processors. Both of them are S4 Plus, but the 720 has an MSM8227 CPU and the 820 has an MSM8960. Now the 820 will actually give you a 1.5 GHz a dual core processor with uh, 1 gig of RAM, but the 720 will actually give you a 1 GHz processor also on the dual core crate. But the big difference actually is the 705 has a 30, an Adreno 305 GPU and what we have in the 820 is actually an Adreno 225 GPU. Looking at the cameras, they both have the great Carl Zeiss lens. Over here we have a 6.7 megapixel camera and over here we have an 8 megapixel camera. This one you can see has a dual LED flash. The focal point on the 820 is actually a little bit bigger at f2.2 and over here it's f1.9. The lens is actually a little bit bigger at 28 millimeter, and this is 26. Here are a couple side-by-side -side photos. The 820 images look a little bit sharper in daylight while the Lumia 720 looks better while light is insufficient. The 720 looks like it produces colors closer to reality. The 820 looks a little bit oversaturated, but it captures a little bit more detail. Stylistically, the two handsets are also very different. The 720 actually reminds you a lot of what was going on with the Lumia 920, and the 820 actually looks like kind of like the rest of the lineup with the 520 and the 620. What's definitely interesting about these two handsets is when you go spec for spec, well, you know, this has the 1.5 gigahertz uh, processor and this one has the 1 gigahertz, it's got the 305 uh, GPU, this one has way more battery life, a way larger battery at 2000 milliamperes, and this one's at 1650. So, I mean, like, clearly, when you look at hardware, um, there's kind of a, a mix. So, the 820 is the slightly, well, it is the better handset because uh, feature-wise, right, Nokia is kind of interesting uh, when it comes to looking at handsets. They're, they're trying to push an experience forward. So here we have, the, like I mentioned, the camera, the way better camera module with the dual LED flash, uh, 820p, or 1080p uh, video recording versus 720 on the uh, Lumia 720. So uh, this has just, you know, been, been a quick look, very, very brief at what's going on with uh, Nokia's new handsets, uh, the Lumia 820 and the Lumia 720. I'm Nicole Scott for Mobile Geeks.